Thanks for staying with us. You are watching Neighborhood Journal, Hudson News Edition. On Thursday, April 18th, Stevens Institute of Technology in Hoboken will be hosting a video conference featuring an international group of scientists who will detail new broadband internet capabilities that provide opportunities to enhance basic human services for millions of people living on the African continent. Joining me to talk about the conference is Dr. Victor Lawrence, a distinguished research professor in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering at Stevens. Dr. Lawrence, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Tell me a little bit about this video conference and how you actually got involved. What is the conference going to be about and how did you get involved with it? Well, the conference is really a, a, a test bed for us to be able to see how we could communicate between uh, scientists in these African countries. It has been a problem because of lack of communication. So we started working on this, on the broadband fiber optics capability. And uh, we started working on this when I joined uh, Stevens and it continued until now. It took us about four years to be able to lay the cable, starting from France, Penn Marsh in France, going through Portugal, uh, uh, Tenerife in Spain, Morocco, Mauritania, all the way down to South Africa. It's about 17,000 kilometers long of cable. You've brought a short video with you that I want our viewers to take a look at right now, which kind of describes for them and shows for them what you've actually talked about. Let's take a look at that video. So, Professor, we've just seen what this is going to look like. It basically is encompassing basically half of the globe from France all the way down to the tip of Africa. Talk a little bit specifically about the video conference. Who's going to be involved in the conference? Okay, there are going to be scientists uh, from the U.S., uh, which uh, includes uh, uh, people like uh, Professor Cole, who has been working on this scientific network. But the main important thing is to look at the various applications that will ride over this network. And we're going to discuss some of these applications. Applications in e-health, applications in e-education, applications in e-commerce, and also applications in e-agriculture. These are basic needs that the African continent needs in order to be able to have social economic development for the continent. At this point, do you have any idea what percentage of the African continent has internet capability and what the percentage will increase to once these countries are connected? Yes, it's only less than 4% of amazing. the total uh, population. And we need to increase this to at least 20, 30. Uh, in most of the advanced countries, we are talking about 60, 70, 80% of the people. So we have a long way to go. However, this is just the beginning. And uh, we will uh, en 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 endeavor to spread the communications and make sure that uh, this reaches almost every individual on the continent. 
So most of the countries that are involved with this that are on the western side, side. of the continent, these are third world countries. Yes, they are mainly third world countries. And there are countries that have also had tremendous amount of uh, conflicts. There are countries that have had wars and the wars are just about ending. And, and, and we need to be able to develop the uh, citizens of that country, give them the best that they can so that they can develop. Uh, so it, it sounds like this is an amazing, uh, amazing project. Um, good luck with the conference. Uh, I'm going to let the public know that they're able to participate if they'd like to, to see it. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And as I just mentioned, the public is invited to view the video conference, which begins at 9 a.m. on April 18th. To register, you need to contact Dr. Lawrence at victor.lawrence at stevens.edu. Registration begins at 8.30 on the morning of the conference. And we'll have more of Neighborhood Journal Hudson News Edition following this break. Please stay with us.